YouTube, it's Lena, and it is hot in here. Very hot. I hate filming under umbrella lights, but tend, since I tend to film at night, it's what I gotta do. Anyways, we are here with the Pan That Palette update plus my palette roulette. I get to choose something new again this month. I'll show you why in a minute. But first, let's go over the Lorac Pro, which I also have some good news actually. So I do tend to pop other shadows in here that I'm using for other projects, so we will not pay attention to those. Just what we are paying attention to here, and as you can see, Espresso and Black are both gone. I finished them both. Yay! There wasn't a lot left, and I don't know if you can tell, but there is a big dip at the bottom of Deep Purple. Of course, I'm getting dips in Sable and slate now because I have looks that work for them. Although I hit pan on one of the shadows that I was using for my look with slate. So hopefully the next thing I draw will have a blue shadow in it that I can use to go with that because that is what worked and that is what I enjoyed. But still that only leaves me with four shadows in my Lorac Pro. And annoyingly, I don't think I can finish this by the end of the year, which sucks. I do think I can finish Pewter and Deep Purple by the end of the year and hit Pan on the other two, which will be great. And I will carry these two into next year, but in 2017, I might pick a new pan, new palette to finish. Because it's not that fun to just look at me, hey, I got these two shadows still. So we shall see about that. And now let's get into the palette roulette portion of this. First we have my Naked 3. I still owe you guys a look for this. I have not forgotten. It is coming up this month. I had a couple of Halloween tutorials I wanted to do last month. So right now the main shadow I am using like regularly is Limit. Which is this crease color right here. Not showing much use because these are very well packed shadows. So I will probably have this in here for a while, which means I, get, I can also just, you know, play around with other looks. But that has been the main shadow I've been working on because I've been wearing it a lot with either the slate look I do or with this deep purple all over my lid like I have today. Next is my Naked One that I depotted ages ago. And the main shadow I focus on is Naked and Buck. I use them in my eyebrows a lot. I use something else today, but Naked is probably going to be the one that I hit pan on up, crap, up here because it is really low right there. Now, the two shades that I don't want to use for panning in this project are white and cream because I could hit pan on those really easily. But it takes me a while to hit pan on things like crease shades, so I figured those are okay. But I don't want those to just be the only ones I pan in palette. And in my Wet n Wild palette that I'll show you in a minute, I panned a lid shade. So, yeah. And just in case you wanted to see, I have widened my pan ever so slightly in Creep. Because as I showed you earlier, I ran out of black in my Lorac Pro, so I've been using it. But I already had that pan, so I'm not too worried. If I hit pan and a black and another shadow though, that will definitely count because it takes me forever to hit pan and a black. And finally, I'm sure you can guess this is the one I hit pan in. I didn't just hit pan, this is Blue Had Me At Hello, by the way. They don't sell this anymore, fortunately. I hit some nice amount of pan. And as I said before, a fleck of pan will do as far as hitting pan and a shadow. But if I hit it, let's say, two weeks ago, like I did with this one, I will keep using it and widen the pan like I did in this. So it's time to draw a new one. If this is your first time seeing me draw a new one, I go to random.org and do the number thing. And I have all of my palettes on here. I have 59, not including my Lorac Pro. Hello, I have a new email. But, um... I have 50, I have 60 palettes of eight pans or more, which is crazy, I know. That's why I'm doing this, to make sure more of my palettes get love and possibly maybe declutter a few. I have already hit pan on one. That was my Profusion palette, I believe. But let's hit the wheel and see what we're gonna get. 
Number 13, lucky 13. Okay, that is an, it says Ariel. This is one of the Walgreens palettes that I bought that had the Disney characters on it. So, can y'all see that? Yeah, there it goes. So let me put a star by that so that I now know that I have picked that palette. And let me go get it for you and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here is my palette. It's the Dare to Dream one. These were made by Mark Wins, which are the same people that make Wet and Wild and... Crap, what's the name of that? I don't remember the name, but they make a couple of things. So this is it. And it does have a nice blue shade in there, so this is probably what I'm going to go for, at least for now. I don't know, that green might look pretty with slate, too. We shall see. So, I love this palette. I love these palettes. They come up with such good names for the uh, colors. Plus, they put in such beautiful colors in these, because the ones by e.l.f., they had a lot of neutrals, which is great if you love neutrals, but I wasn't going to buy them because I like color. And I have plenty of neutral palettes. So yeah, that's it. I did want to add one thing that I remembered while I was in there. I'm actually going to add another palette to this. I have a bunch of depotted Wet n Wild trios in a homemade style palette that when you add them up all together, I think it has like, let's see, three times eight, it has, 20, it has 24 shadows in it. They're all like the little trio pans. So I'm going to add that to this as well. That will leave me with 60 from now on. So even more things to pan, which is always good. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.